As far as intuition goes, everyone can refer to it in different words. So some may refer to their intuition as their discernment or the third eye or their judgment. Whatever it may be, the words, it doesn't matter. It's just, we're going to refer to it today as your intuition. So the first benefit when it comes to strengthening your intuition is that it helps you in every aspect of your life. Whether it's personal, whether it's academic, whether it's business, whatever it may be, hobbies, leisure time. Your intuition enables you to make better decisions. And in that aspect, when you're making better decisions, you may have a unique situation and you may not be able to find a book at that time that's tailored to your unique situation. So when your in intuition is strengthened, you're more independent. You don't have to rely on a book or anything because you have the tools at that time to make that decision. Now, it's definitely nothing wrong with reading books. Actually, I would encourage that you do. But you never know the situation and to make it so that you're always independent and flexible. It's advantageous to make sure that your intuition is strengthened. Second benefit of strengthening your intuition is that you're able to trust yourself. Well, what does that mean? Trusting yourself, you're able to make better decisions. And when you're able to make better decisions, for one, you come definitely closer to your calling and definitely closer to your passion. So let's say that one is pursuing a job or pursuing a duty or not really sure what their passion is right now. The great thing is that when their intuition is strengthened, it will start to become clearer to them what job or what opportunity they can go or they can go on and embark on now so that they can become a asset to society. So one may feel as if uh, they're doing quite fine on their job, but they may be unhappy because their quality of life is marred, although their standard of living may be up to par. So all of those things will become closer to you and clearer to you as your intuition becomes strengthened. Another benefit when it comes to trusting yourself and making better decisions is, let's just say you're trying to one day find the perfect soulmate, your perfect partner. You'll be able to ask yourself questions like, hmm, does this person's core values align well with my core values and what I want for myself and my family in the future? Also, you can ask yourself questions like, Hmm. Or you'll be able to ask yourself questions such as, you know, when this person reacted in, a, in this such and such way, I would feel as if that this may not be advantageous in the future when it comes time for me to interact with this, with this person because they're not slow to anger. These are all things that you'll be able to reflect on once you realize that it is advantageous, that my intuition is stronger and that I continue to work on it and practice on it. The third benefit of strengthening your intuition is that academically you're able to succeed. So I know I mentioned academics earlier, but learning never stops and it never should stop. So let's just say as a prime example, you're in pursuing your undergraduate degree. So sophomore, freshman, sometimes you don't know what you want to pursue just yet. That's quite early. It, it's, you're, it's still early. That's just quite fine. But instead of having to ponder, go back and forth, what should I major in, what should I minor in, I'm investing all this capital, but I want to make sure that I'm at least pursuing something that I do enjoy doing. When you're strengthening your intuition, those decisions like that will become clearer. So that relates to academics. The next benefit of strengthening your intuition is finance, financial decisions. Nobody wants to be belly up, whether you're a business, whether you're applying this to your personal career, whatever it may be. You don't want to be belly up and you also want to make sure that when you're making great finance decisions, you're interacting with other people who are making good finance decisions so that their intuition is also strengthened. Because let's say you're, you're talking to this salesperson and although this salesperson is saying the right terminology, they, they're saying that if you, before you invest your capital into whatever it may be, um, this goes along with what the market wants. Well, that can be fine. You can say, okay, this salesperson sounds great. Uh, I understand what the market is projecting, but there may just be something about the deal that isn't advantageous for you, and you know it. That's perfectly fine. You follow your intuition, and you gravitate towards it. That's just one prime example. And last but certainly not least, the fifth benefit of strengthening your intuition is that 
you're able to reduce time pondering on decisions. So you'll reduce the, the amount of times that you say, did I make the wrong decision by saying this? Or, oh, I should have done that better. Instead, you'll be able to say, you know what? I embrace impermanence. I embrace uncertainty. And in that way, you don't ask yourself or you don't beat yourself too much up on, oh, I made the wrong decision. And quite naturally, there are a lot of notable people that have had to come with that, uh, ha that have had to face uncertainty and face impermanence. And I would say that in these times, these challenging times, that uh, notable people like Martin Luther King or Frederick Douglass or Gandhi or Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman or George Fox or Mother Teresa. These are all people that had to deal with challenges, had to deal with making decisions. And with the strong intuition, you're able to truly be a great asset to society and to yourself. And last but certainly not least, intuition makes it so that you're able to have genuine joy and genuine happiness. Uh, I received some advice not too long ago from a very wise person who told me that when their, their intuition is strengthened or when one's intuition is strengthened, it's important and it's vital to, to, be, to master this at an early age because although this person is a little bit older, this person emphasized that it's, it's not worth fretting over frivolous things and becoming upset over minute things. With your intuition being strengthened, you're able to address the problem, address the dilemma, and move on so that not only are you happy, but you're a force to be reckoned with. Thank you for watching.